My mom makes awful choices when it comes to men. She's good at everything else in life but love. I'm 51 years old and I've been married two times. My second marriage was only four months. I recently even planned my third marriage. But three weeks before the wedding, he sent me a text saying bye. That was mother and daughter Twyler and Martina. We're talking about dating after 50, and Martina says her mother makes terrible choices in men, and Twyler leaned over during the commercial break and goes, please help me, Mel. <laughs> so I am going to help you, and I have a question. So you are 50 and you're single. Yes. Do you feel incomplete being single? I do. See, that's the issue. And you are complete exactly how you are. And what I want women everywhere to start to look for is somebody that compliments them. When you come from a place that something is missing, then all the power is in this other person but when you come from a place where you, as your daughter said, and I agree with your daughter, love yourself, Amen. you put yourself first and you're just looking for somebody that compliments your true self. Amen. So, can you describe the kind of person that would compliment you? <laughs> Why does that make you emotional? Because I never had it. You can't describe something that you never had. But if I could describe what I would like, I would like a person to treat me the way I treat them, because well, I'm going to give you a simple rule of thumb about love, because going back to the quote, I do believe it's never too late for a happily ever after. Okay, and so love is not what you give to somebody else. Love is how you feel about yourself when you're with them. That's why people fall out of love. Because you no longer feel good about yourself when you're with this person that doesn't give you what you deserve, okay? You've got the loving thing down. What you don't have down is the ability to read a situation based on the way you feel and the way you're being treated. And so I want to give you something that will remind you to stop when that desperation kicks in. Because when the desperation kicks in and you go on the chase, that's where you stop loving yourself and that's where everything goes south. If you trusted, that the right person is going to show up if you keep being your true self, how would you act differently? Um, well, how would I act differently now? I would let that, let it chase me. Okay. And I would patiently just sit back and wait and accept it. Okay. You know, instead of... <laughs> instead of trying to show them my worth, you know, I would let them learn my worth. Okay. Just being patient, you know. Okay. Let them give to me. Okay, know, terrific. Give to me. Instead of me giving to them, let them give to me. Okay, terrific. So I want to give you a tool, one of my all-time favorite things. So come on over here. Um, so I um, have a board here of what are called my intent bracelets. And my intent, I have loved this company for a long time. And I am so proud that I'm now partnering with them because these bracelets are a tool. And when you wear them, they remind you of something that you need to be reminded of in a moment of weakness and fear and desperation. 
And so before I explain the power of these things, I'm asking everyone, you at home included, to set an intention for yourself when it comes to dating, when it comes to a change that you wanna make. And so what I want you to do, these bracelets are inexpensive, they are amazing, and they act as an environmental trigger. So when you leave here, I'm gonna be on your wrist reminding you, okay? <laughs> what is the word that you're gonna to use to anchor yourself in your power in a moment when you feel desperate? This means you could pick any word you want and we'll make it for you. What word is the word you need to see in order to be reminded to not be desperate, but to sit back and let whomever it is that you're interested in come to you to see your worth? My worth. Worthy. Okay, excellent, excellent. Now, a lot of people have tattoos, right? A lot of people have tattoos, that's permanent. This works the same way. It just sits on your wrist. And so when you feel the desperation coming, when you feel the chase coming on, I want you to look at your wrist and I want you to remind yourself that my worth means it's about how I feel about myself when I'm with this person. You got it? Yes. Awesome. So I partnered with My Intent. If you want one of these for yourself, go to myintent.org slash melshow. And when you put in melshow in the promo code, guess what? You get 20% off. These things are amazing. I wear it almost every day because when you become your authentic self, when you truly believe that you are worthy, you will act consistently with your worth and that's when somebody who compliments you will walk into your life.